With over 5,000 bikes getting racked here and set up for transition over the two days for both the women and the men racing at Ironman 70.3 World Championships, it would be rude if I didn't go and take a closer look because every bike is unique. Everyone's got their own setup, their own little unique things that they've done. And I've already spotted a few interesting ones and I want to share them with you. Now, you guys probably know that I love food and the more real the food, the better for me, even when it comes to racing. So I love to see these guys with waffles here, but we've seen all sorts taped onto the top tube. Someone who's got enough naked bars for a meal, I think. Um, all sorts of different interesting ways of getting your nutrition onto your bike. There really is no one size fits all. We love improvisation here at GTN and problem solving and cable ties usually come in pretty handy for that. But in this age group transition, we have seen them used to the extreme. And here is one prime example. This bike computer mount is attached by one, two, three, four, I think that's four, maybe five cable ties. And this bike has got several more cable ties on it if you look further back on the um, seat tube, the bottle cage is behind that as well. Cable ties are definitely this rider's best friend. If you're racing somewhere hot like here, obviously hydration is key. And there are lots of options where you store your hydration. There's some slightly different options. Again, this one is quite unique. You don't see it very often, the speed fill. So you can actually refill it just on the right hand side there. And it sits obviously nicely on the down tube. And then the tube to drink from just kind of tucks in either side of your top tube and runs alongside the aero bars at the front. So. Yeah, a little bit more aero. Um, another one that's slightly more unique. So felt don't yet have an integrated hydration um, on the front. So this one has been very much improvised. It's the Vision Metron hydration by the looks of things, but it has just been attached to the aero bars. So the aero bars are wide enough that you can fit this in inside and there's a little um, catch for the straw so it can flick up. But I'm not quite sure how it comes to the, um, the refill side of things. Now, I think this athlete has listened partly to one of GTN's tips, but not the full part, because they have got lovely ice cold bottles here. This bottle, I can still see the ice in. Problem being, it's 6 p.m. the night before the race, and right now it's still probably in the 20 degrees in the temperature. It's not gonna drop much lower than this, and that bottle is gonna be just as warm as the air by the morning. So guys, if you are gonna use ice bottles, make sure you keep them in the freezer overnight and put them into your bottle or onto your bike the day of your race. We've seen some different aero bars and we've seen some different ways of mounting your bike computer, but this is different in many ways again. We've got these Team PI Wing aero bars or type of aero bar, which I haven't seen before, but it's certainly attached in a different way. So they've clamped it underneath the um, handlebars here. On this side, I can't actually even see how it's attached, but it's a one single unit. And then it gets more interesting again, because instead of having a bike computer, there's a watch here and the watch is just tied on with cable ties underneath it. And then on top, instead of having any arm cups or elbow cups for the aero bars, they've just taped on some extra padding onto their handlebars. So certainly an improvised aero setup. This is another road bike with an aero bar attachment. And I must admit, I've never seen aero bars this short. I think they're too long for ITU racing. That was my first thought that they must be for ITU. But you can see that these are profile design bars and they have been cut really short so much so that the profile design is actually no longer fully on there. But then it's the arm caps, which look to me like they are sprung, but it's a very unusual position. I'd like to see how this woman looks when she's actually on her bike. Well, these aero bars have caught my eye. I've not come across this brand before, but these are the Lixada carbon clip-on aero bars, which this rider's got on their Scott road bike. And I like seeing road bikes at um, big events like this, because it just proves that you can compete at this level on a road bike, but also the fact they've gone attention to detail. Maybe they chose these because they match the colorway on their Scott road bike, who knows? I think 
you know by now I love pretty colors. Well, all bright colors to be honest. This one caught my eye and look at this lovely floral. Feels a little bit Hawaiian, maybe a few weeks early for 70.3 worlds, but um, I like it. This is the specialized Lululemon design on this s -Works. And we've seen lots of other wonderful iridescent colors, matching bottle cages, contrasting ones, all sorts out here. This disc and the lovely colour caught my eye and then the fact that it matches the frame drew me closer to the frame and when you look really closely it actually has Marinda Carfrey's name on it. So I've no idea how it got here and how this person got their hands on this bike but pretty cool to see. Right, we've found a bike which obviously belongs to a rather tall athlete because they've had to improvise in the transition here. The saddle is so high, the wheel is actually pretty much touching the ground. It won't fit under the bars to be able to rack. So I think they knew this and they've come prepared because there's some string which they're going to have to undo when they come out of the swim before getting on their bike to be able to unrack the bike. Not sure what will happen at the other end in T2. They might need some assistance there. But if you come a little closer, there's something else that's caught my eye on this bike. This guy has got some sort of order of something. Now, there's a knife and a fork, which I'm guessing is when to eat. So he plans to eat at 15K, 32K, uh, uh, another distance I can't see, and then 73. But there's another logo on here, and it's a spanner crossed with a screwdriver. So if you guys have got any idea, do let us know in the comments. But um, at 37K and 73K, he wants to do something with a, a spanner and a screwdriver. Um, and then at 64K and 90K, there's a whistle. I mean, 90K makes sense. That's the whistle for finishing the bike. Not sure what happens at 64K. We thought that last bike had a problem and the rider has rather long legs. Well, here we are sort of well above my belly button with the saddle height. And this rider's had to improvise another level again and actually hooked on with the handlebars at the front. So ingenious thinking for these tall guys. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up like if you have and hit the globe to subscribe. And if you want some ideas for pure bike training sessions, we've got a video of three sessions that you can do just down here. And if you want some tips on physio hacks and things you can do at home to keep your body in one piece, that's just down here.